Hi, I'm Mitzi Ganley. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Lumina. We're thrilled to have Max Henrian, our founder and CEO, for this webinar on how consultants use Analytica to accelerate decision modeling for fun and profit. Max is the originator of the Analytica software. He's a researcher, educator, software designer, consultant, and entrepreneur. He's led decision analysis and teams on projects in just about every industry. He's a former professor at Carnegie Mellon and has been a consulting professor at Stanford. He won the Ramsey Medal for Contributions and Decision Analysis. These are just a few of his many accomplishments. And with that, I'll let you take it away, Max. Thanks so much, Mitsu. Looks like we have a great turnout this morning. I guess quite a few people wanted to hear about how consultants use Analytica to accelerate decision modeling for fun and profit. This is, you know, originally I was planning to kind of explain to you my own ideas about how we designed Analytica to accelerate decision modeling and sort of side effects are ideally fun and profit. And a couple of weeks ago, I decided to put out a survey to find out whether our users agreed or you know, what they thought about it. And in fact, I've kind of changed the seminar so it will be largely summarizing information provided by our Analytica users, both in terms of you know, how they use it, how it accelerates their modeling, and uh, also to the extent that it affects fun and potentially profit. So here's a, a few users in the past, what they've said about the effect of Analytica on their productivity. And you know, we've heard these great comments, which are certainly gratifying for us at Luminar in terms of developing the tool, you know, with speed ups ranging from you know, factor of two to five to 10 even, according to uh, Corey Welch here. But we thought a survey might get results from a wider range of users. What would be interesting to see if this kind of, how widely this kind of experience is shared by other users. So I will give you a quick overview of the results of this survey. I promise to keep who they are confidential. Um, um, level of analytic expertise. They were evenly divided between intermediate and expert with one novice and one self-described guru. The kinds of clients they work for, 60% or so, work for paying clients in other organizations, others for people in their own company, and a number, I think those were mostly students and researchers. So in order to estimate the time saving from using Analytica relative to other tools, we first wanted to ask, how much time do you actually spend modeling as a percentage of your work time? You know, a consultant, you know, modeling might only be a fraction of what they do. And by modeling, we include designing, building, debugging, analyzing, documenting, and presenting models to their clients. There's a pretty wide range from less than 5% to up to uh, 75 to 95% with a peak around 20%. And then we asked, of the time that you spend modeling, what percentage of the time are you using Analytica? And there, there's also a fairly wide range, although um, <clears throat> almost 50% use it, you know, at least 75% of their modeling is using Analytica. So, you know, obviously once people start to use Analytica, they do tend to use it for a majority of their modeling in most cases. So then if you were, didn't use Analytica, what tool would you use or do you use when you don't use Analytica? And 90% you know, of people mentioned Excel, no big surprise. Over a quarter mentioned Python, R, or another procedural language, with one or two mentioning a variety of other things, Google Sheets, spreadsheet plugins, which are really another way of saying Excel, SAS, Stato, MATLAB, Mathematica, and so on. So perhaps the most critical question for us was if you were using one of these other tools, say Excel or, or Python or whatever, instead of Analytica, how much more time do you think it would take? The one person said, well, actually about the same, although that person also did say, I personally find using Analytica more satisfying and fun, which was reassuring. But you know, most of the people find using Analytica is significantly more productive with a mode of 30% up to four times and some people up to 10 times. And a few people said, they wouldn't actually do the projects without Analytica, which is pretty interesting. But of course, that means we couldn't estimate that productivity. So we had to um, exclude those from the rest of the analysis, although still very interested in their comments. So um, naturally, we built an Analytica model to help analyze the results and estimate the time savings. And by the way, this model uses this dark color scheme that you can get if you want from the color themes library developed by 
Karen Lee here. I think it looks kind of cool. But, um, and that this is just one of several themes available. To estimate the time savings, we assume each user works about uh, 2,000 hours a year, total work, you know, of which only a fraction is modeling and a fraction of that is using Analytica. And in terms of computing the time saved, the expanded formula, the definition of this variable there, work hours per year times modeling percent of work time times Analytica percent of modeling time times a speed up factor minus one. And so here is a frequency distribution over time saved in hours per year. And, you know, there's a lot clustered at the lower end, but even the lower end is not bad. You know, there's a 25 percentile is at 42 hours, um, mean at seven, over 700 hours. And one person, almost 4,500 hours a year. And you might ask, how could that be possible given there's only 2,000 hours a year? But if you spend, let's say, three quarters of your time modeling with Analytica and your productivity, you think your productivity is 10. Well, we only estimate it when they said up to 10. We interpret that as the midpoint of between four and 10. So as seven times, then you can see how you can actually save more time than there are work hours in a year um, if you're that kind of consultant. So how, how do these time savings arise? How does this acceleration arise? So I've again gone back to what the users say and organized them into groups. Um, first, around visual modeling with influence diagrams. No surprise there, perhaps. And I'm not going to go through all these comments, but there's quite a few people that made these kinds of comments and how that is one of the sources of the increased speed in modeling. A second group is, again, no surprise to Analytica users, um, the power and flexibility of intelligent arrays. For example, typical tasks such as modeling high dimensional probability spaces would take so much time in Excel. I never use anything but Analytica, and I've been in that happy mode for decades. So for those few of you that have not used Analytica, intelligent arrays make it vastly easier to deal with all the dimensions that you have in the model. You know, all the different time periods, different geographic regions, different products, different business units, different decision options, different scenarios. Each of these is a dimension. And, and if you have more than two dimensions, it becomes kind of challenging to deal with it in Excel. But more than that, you can modify the dimensions and add new dimensions rather easily in Analytica without having to change the model in a way that would require major surgery in Excel or, or in a programming language. So that's kind of a, a very key source of the acceleration. Um, third and fourth groups, third, reusability. This isn't something we explicitly asked about, but that several respondents specifically mentioned issues. You know, my clients engage more with a project, especially when I reuse and adapt prior models, supports reuse of models and patterns and so on. What I noticed in talking to other consultants that do modeling with spreadsheets is that they usually say they have to start almost from scratch when they have a new client because it's quite hard to modify change dimensions in a spreadsheet, whereas these things are much easier in Analytica. And what that means is that the consultant, as they do more modeling, the past Analytica models for other clients become some part of that intellectual property that they can reuse and build on for new projects. Again, vastly accelerating their ability to build the new models. The fourth item, flow architecture. So that's a name that we've recently been giving the, a characteristic that those of you that know Analytica will be very familiar with. The fact that when you design a model, you define a set of variables. Each variable may be defined in terms of other variables, but you don't have to worry about what sequence to evaluate the variables in. You know, in the procedural language, the sequence of statements or expressions determine the sequence of control, and then you can vary it with loops and uh, procedure calls and so on. But a lot of the effort in coding is managing that flow of control. And that's something in Analytica you don't even have to think about, not even about looping over multidimensional arrays. Analytica just does that for And that, the, that flow of control is a major source of bugs um, in procedural languages. Those bugs just don't really arise in Analytica. It automatically finds a sequence of computation that is consistent and efficient. And if you do 
have bugs there, much easier to detect in an analytical model. The final point I want to make about you know, why it leads to faster model development, especially if you take this kind of agile modeling approach. So any of you that are involved in software development <clears throat> know about the agile development process. So if you think about building a physical system like a bridge or a power plant or something, you have to spend a lot of effort, first of all, developing detailed requirements documents, what does your client really want, and then detailed plans about how you're going to build it. Because you don't want to be halfway through building your bridge and suddenly change the number of cars you want it to carry. But with software, you can actually do that. <laughs> um, uh, software developers have figured out that actually this agile approach where you start out with a sort of initial clarification of what the client needs and then you know, build a simple prototype, test and review it with the client, maybe do a sensitivity analysis on the assumptions there to figure out which assumptions could really make a difference to the result. And then on the basis of that, the client isn't yet satisfied, probably won't be the first time around, figure out where to make improvements, where to gather more data, where to expand the model, maybe expand dimensions based on the feedback that you've got and the sensitivity analysis, and then refine and extend the model and test it again. Maybe the client's not yet satisfied and you keep going around this loop until you reach success. One of the advantages of this is you never, you know, if you run out of time or resources, you already have a working model. But the big advantage is you're getting feedback from your client all the time and the client understands what you're doing. That closer engagement with the client um, is a source of real value and is what guides to models that really satisfy the client's needs. And also allow you to build the model more rapidly. A lot of times people that use more of a standard engineering type of approach to model development may end up putting a lot of detail into the model or gathering a lot of data in areas where it turns out that it doesn't really make that much difference. So they waste a lot of time that way. And the agile process helps focus attention on what really matters. So in addition to the focus on productivity, the survey asked, you know, what other benefits do you get from using Analytica relative to other tools? Makes it easier to do sensitivity analysis. 65% uh, found that valuable. The next three collaborators or clients better understand the models and insights. My clients interact and engage more with the project. And clients are more likely to ask for following projects are all to do with interaction with clients. And then the final one, 80%, said they personally find using Analytica is more satisfying than fun. So I don't know if you remember like, when you first got the hang of building computer models, found it a lot of fun, I certainly did, to figure out how to represent an interesting problem and generate new insights from your simulation or from your model. And many of us first had that experience in college, I certainly did. But, <coughs> but now as professional analysts, you know, especially if you're using spreadsheets or Python and so on, it sometimes feels like a bit of a grind wrestling with the spreadsheets and debugging the code, not trying to understand and document them. And so, you know, we built Analytica. Well, I guess, you know, <laughs> initially I designed it for myself as a consultant, but at Lumina, we have a consulting group led brilliantly by James Milford, our director of consulting. And one of the reasons we like to keep an internal consulting group is it allows us to kind of eat our own dog food, if you like. We we're constantly have folks around here, um, James and Ben and Karen and also myself, because I like to keep my oar in in building models, who understand what makes modeling effective and keep us in terms of our analytical development focused on what is going to make modelers more effective in their consulting. So fun is not to be sneezed at. Some people. Are, at one point, a marketing person said, well, you know, we really want to talk about fun. That seems kind of rather frivolous, but <laughs> personally, I kind of think that's uh, important. But not just fun. You know, I said fun and profit in the title. So how do we think about profit? So let's talk about time savings and value. So here's a probability distribution, a metalog fitted to the time saved per year. We already saw the frequency distribution. And, you know, it's very long tailed, no surprise. But you know, median of 146 hours a year and 95% over 4,000 hours per year of time saved. In other words, essentially one person doing the work of three people, given that there's 2,000 hours in a year. Pretty amazing. I mean, th this is what our users in the respondents to this were telling us. So what's the value of that? Well, you know, let's suppose 
consulting rate is two hundred dollars an hour. You know, it might be less or more, but you know, in the U.S. at least, the consultants that do this kind of work that's kind of in the ballpark. So this is the value of the time saved through using Analytica versus the alternative tool, according to these respondents. Um, some pretty amazing numbers. You know, a median of twenty-nine thousand, a mean of one hundred thirty-four thousand, obviously because it's highly skewed, and so we can also, well, obviously there's a cost, not just a benefit time saving. So let's think about the benefit cost ratio. Well, what's the cost? Well, one of the obvious costs is the price of an Analytica subscription. There's a couple of educational users that have this lower half price, you know, 35% use professional, $1,000, 25% enterprise, 20% optimizer. This is just for our users. And that's probably a pretty good reflection of our overall user base. So we could divide the value of the time saved by the cost of the subscription. And here I plotted it as a cumulative probability distribution rather than a density, just interest. And the fifth percentile is 1.1 benefit cost ratio. So that means more than 95% of the people are getting more savings out of it than they're paying for that subscription. So that's good to know. 50% uh, are getting 29 times more. <laughs> and the 95 percentile is 277. Well, let's ignore that. But 25%, that is above the 75 percentile, are getting almost 100 times benefit cost ratio. So, so naturally, at the beginning, I was hoping for some confirmation of my hypothesis that Analytica can accelerate model development, not just for us. So we already know that. But you know, it seems like all except one of our respondents found some significant speed ups and most find it fun and satisfying. And you can see how if you're running a consulting organization, uh, if you can have one consultant doing the work of two or more, well, obviously that could have a big effect on your on, on, on the <coughs> revenues and profits of your consulting organization. So this is just a sample of 20 users and there's clearly very wide variation, but I have to say I was quite surprised and impressed by the size of the effects. I didn't expect them to be quite that large. And I hope you also find this thought provoking. I really appreciate everybody's uh, attendance on this. Um, you know, some people might think it was a little bit crass to just like focus on profitability, but <laughs> but it, the, the numbers, the way they came out really quite surprised me. And I think for organizations that are do a significant amount of modeling as part of that consulting work. This type of analysis really can demonstrate some pretty significant returns. And you know, obviously that was one of the things we wanted to get across, but don't want to ignore the fact of it just being more fun to do things this way. Thanks very much to everyone. Thanks.